Gaslight claim backlash Google translate Hemorrhoid blood but claim that you menstruate East and deceased Kotaku dick sucka For Kyle's hold these tuckas lips puckered Surgical scars and a flat posterior Fat and inclusive always inferior Put down the fork piggy learn to roll flat where Oh you choose the bear pitch I do not care Pre-order strong by a hoe no score, you be soft stock, fall straight, hetero through the floor. Press events cancelled, game gets delayed to February on Valentine's Day. Well shucks, you be soft, arrowed by Cupid. You must think black gamers are just stupid. People of color history month so clever. Then we'll all say Wakanda forever. Ugly flat culture war outlaw profit. Blood stains forfeit that security deposit refunds no agenda now on steam might as well delay until you're dei free race age gender swap inject the gay black cleopatra nagasaki yasuke horizon zero interest new normal is capsizing dragon quest dead rising silent hill infantilizing guess what acolyte sushi squad and concord have in common 200 million lost shareholders take it up the bottom Disney, Sony, Warner Brothers, Limp Dick, Ubisoft, Sabotage, Art, Make a Man, How to Lara Croft. Don't like, don't buy it, says a Sony trans flag guy. I accept your terms, watch the money go bye bye. Say it's entertainment, yet surgical pussy sandy. Stinky intercourse, whole offer kids candy. Jiggle physics, windy waifu, titi collision. But light your money while Asians collect a billion. I can't find the modern audience anywhere. Everybody seen the leprechaun say yeah. I synced it. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like and subscribe, and I'll continue to entertain you since identity politics injectors refuse to. You know. You don't have to push people's buttons because they'll do it themselves and then blame you. Get this video to 4,000 likes and I'll start working on the next one. Until then, maybe I'll take it down a notch. Did you know that some game engine named Godot is run by Woke and they're triggered so hard that they're just banning people? Sounds like them, doesn't it? Here's hoping that they can reinforce their personal safe space so... Only the modern audience fills their echo chamber with the kinds of delusions they enjoy hearing. Kotaku entity Unneed Attention Mercant Write Articles grabbed an air quotes lawyer to send Smash JT paperwork after personally harassing and reaching out to the dude's family previously. No surprise, the ending of the paperwork issues a threat and mentions the family so, in moments, Smash was able to, with the help of his community, raise and rally whatever he needed to have Ron Coleman represent and respond to Kotaku the same way that he acquainted black girl gamers' ignorant fake legal threats with literacy. Yes, the same black girl gamers who, in their infinite ignorance, tried to take down Smash JT's video even though it was fair use, but we already know better than to assume that they understand, or to assume that even if they did understand, that they care. For clarity, here's the kind of entity that Kotaku drafted to harass Smash JT, and I quote, Going to start a GoFundMe to dox the shit out of some people and have me show up on their doorstep and kick them in the dick. Who's with me? Just kick them over and over and over again until the barf up blood on my shoes and then stamp a bloody boot print right on their big dumb faces. End quote. This is from 2024, like a month ago. So remember, these are the types of racists that uh, people will defend. Again, it's not about wrong or right, it's about punishing anyone who disagrees with their cult, and they've enjoyed an era of being able to cancel anybody, so, you know, this is just how they act and how they've been used to getting away with things. Ron Coleman responds with a letter that Smash JT fully goes over, a link in the description, but to read the end, it concludes by saying, quote, Your demands in some are rejected. 
There will be no apologies or retractions from Smash JT to your client. There will also be no further personal, ethical, or career advice, much less veiled references to our client's family, which are not well taken. From your office to Smash JT's, all further correspondence or communication concerning this matter are to be addressed to me. Very truly yours, Ronald D. Coldman. End quote. So, Smash JT is being the lightning rod that I cannot be at the moment. I feel I've effectively passed the information baton to some eager for views in the way of creation who will cover this for as long as they can in multiple languages, and I'm thankful. I encourage you to go see how Kotaku and other shill journalists habitually telling lies accelerate their own credibility's demise ushering it into a grave and piling dirt atop it because as desperate as uh, Forbes journalist Tassie and his willful ignorant bait takes are, he's a little too much of a three-letter word for me to stoop to the level of kind of trying to cover that garbage for a video. I respect you too much to do it. I wish IGN and the PC gamers luck in fighting gamers and misrepresenting their sentiment to keep their jobs because now that they have to do backbends for attention, it'll be a sad mixture of them blurting out things that they know people would actually click or want to hear uh, just so they can inject their moaning. <laughs> like we witness in the video games these days. Another mod was removed from Nexus Mods, by the way, because it didn't race swap in the appropriate approved race swap direction, and as a black man not sipping the Kool-Aid, I know things like this lead to people teaching AI to only show black or Indian or brown people and just rewrite history when even asking for a picture of the Pope, which sets us all back, but these entities are so stupid that I need to make this abundantly clear to you. The shills, journalists, and actual grifters must appeal to the lowest common denominator because that is who makes the best henchmen. I'm thankful for their ignorance in a way because it has made even ex-Sony entities so comfortable with likes that could be coming from bots or activists who don't buy games, but they're confident enough to demonstrate their ignorance with statements like, don't like it, don't buy it. An entire era of untalented swine who are only momentarily relevant because of a property they are now latching on to believe that they are privileged and enjoy the luxury of people just buying anything to say something so frost you're an ignorant. But you know what I love? I choose my words carefully, and I don't often throw around phrases like too big to fail the way everybody used to about Ubisoft up until about a week ago. Wheelchair power though, am I right? They're so unimaginative that this lady still has to manually wheel her chair around even though she's piloting drones. I guess they just wanted to have her being shown doing it, you know, for inclusion points. So imaginative that magic cannot shapeshift or remove scars, but I'm fully aware that it's a status thing for people who want to identify as trans, not to uh, affirm the gender of what they wish they were and just kind of remove all traces, just like if they were going to hog they wouldn't want to be a boy or a girl, they would want to accept being in the middle, being different, to cause problems or drama. CEO Yves Guillemot, via an internal memo, wanted to remind people that it's not about pushing agendas, and even this PC gamer treats like an opportunity to dismiss concerns that even the wokest entities might consider valid by reducing it to just, they have problem with black people. Congratulations, activists posing as journalists. You're teaching people not to engage with your stupidity and you're showing that the AI has a better grasp on the situation than you do. Gaming's got a woke problem that doesn't just cripple things at a glance in a way that makes it so you're making less money with DEI design, it's also crippling development by nurturing the kinds of pussies who need a figurative slap in the back of the head, but again, you're a sorority, you're making games for a sorority. You couldn't possibly know what men want. You demonstrate with your 
brain damaged assertions that you don't have a clue what men want and men straight men are your majority audience it's not very complicated but when you're tripping over pretty woman hurdles i mean we can't help but laugh even miss steinberg has the self-awareness to know when it's time to whip those titties out and those are some pretty nice dark areolas do you have areolas that nice beta testers i've shown you how easy it is to wind these people up because it has nothing to do with me like i said they push their own buttons and these people fill these studios they won't receive feedback they cannot be coached they resist instruction and when half of them need everyone to refer to them as professor what should these video games have to do with these entities personal lives and feelings absolutely nothing and yet it's all about their feelings and their identity idiot query queue and came back with an estimate of four weeks i pushed back saying the code i asked for was very simple i've written it before would take about 45 minutes the programmer who got signed to came to me and said i need four weeks and i'm like why walk me through what you're going to do he goes you don't understand and i was like i've coded this three times walk me through it and he wouldn't he left he left angry lead programmer came back started yelling at me saying if he says he needs four weeks he needs four weeks and i'm like then i will do it i'll have it done before lunch and he said no because no one that people will have to support your code i'm like i'm going to walk you through what i want and you tell me why this takes four weeks he looked at what i wrote which was about 10 lines of pseudo code on a whiteboard and he goes I'll come back. He came back about an hour later and said, what about two weeks? And I said, do I have any options here? Fine. Two weeks. Unfortunately, Sigil didn't want to hear it. Some of the team were actively hostile when we tried to discuss it. When you have people giving feedback and you're openly hostile to that feedback, a lot of people, most people, will just shut down. They'll just stop telling you what's wrong or what they think should change because they don't need the stress or they don't want to lose their jobs. And this creates a broken feedback loop. He left. He left angry. Lead programmer came back, started yelling at me, saying, if he says he needs four weeks, he needs four weeks. And I don't think I asked for anything after that. I didn't go and specifically ask for anything because I realized that I was being viewed as some sort of ogre when I knew something could be done faster. And there was no solution to it, which is why years ago I started thinking, ooh, this is becoming a problem. Gamers are so silently in tune when it comes to sussing out puss, it's almost unbelievable. The intonation and silent coordination can make magic happen. When somebody has to say, don't like it, don't buy it, sometimes you can taste that their real problem is anyone discussing it in a way that they don't approve of. <laughs> as I said, Shill's early accessors, uh, crying activists posing as journalists, are all desperate for people to engage with their straw man argument, but the comedy is this. The woke cult is infinitely more triggered, more offended by even a digital representation of a biological or real woman. And we're willing to wait for you to see how Saints Row the sales ended up being for Dragon Age to learn that lesson. It's weird when 90,000 people sign a petition following Stellar Blade that they think we're going to forget that trans-identifying journalists and IGN editor-in-chiefs were dousing themselves figuratively with gasoline accusing developers of never having seen a woman because Eve will create violence in the world. Oh, hypocrisy. This stuff is okay if the digital woman is ugly like Mary Jane or a roided out freak like Abby Zilla from The Last of Us. Sex and nudity is fine in Baldur's Gate, but of course, to the woke, Eve is what's problematic because she's actually attractive and they know the difference. She has a naturally appealing figure that can effortlessly draw a gaze because she looks like a she not like the men you force digital women to look like. Suddenly your fight with reality has you claiming normal men are the ones with digital lady problems? Good luck. Desperate Kotaku journalists threatening legal action and bringing up family members? This isn't about Smash JT. It's about someone receiving attention that they're jealous of. It can probably has and will happen to you. Beta tester, create anything and sell it because you are infinitely more intelligent than the off their meds, out of their minds, 
out of touch and out of time hormone blocking screechers inside their echo chambers they could be forced to blow elon to log on to x every day and they do it if i tasked you with running a bar or making a youtube thumbnail that's appealing you wouldn't go with the fattest kind of just unappeal you know what i'm saying you would never feel the need to oppose appeal you'd opt for attractive you'd reel people in because your objective would be to captivate, entice, entertain, not repel. And now even normies are aware that they must attach themselves to something because they lack the creativity to manage it from the ground up. So they find what's worked for a long time, steer that right into the iceberg. And as Kirsch uncovered in her woke cavity deep dives, they are all aware that you hate it but regard themselves the holy arbiters of change and will sneak in the figurative vegetables that you will pay for, white man, and eat even if you don't like it. They will force their will because consent is not necessary, not for you. They've justified and done some mental gymnastics to make it so you don't qualify for consent. Uh, systemic this, microaggressions that, patriarchy, you get where we're going with this. They will force their will because Kim Belair told them to, taught them to terrify. You're a picky baby white man because you should just pay for whatever they demand that you want. Your wants, your desires are irrelevant. It's their money and they're going to use it when they need it right out your wallet. They're entitled to it. So pay for flat chested, flat assed and scarred to used to be another gender that you should find beautiful now more so than anything that you might have woke up and believed that you had a natural preference for. Natural preference isn't okay. That's social conditioning and they're going to undo it as they rewrite history and establish a new normal for the modern audience. Audience, but as they strive for representation and inclusion and diversity, understand that will never include a stacked, attractive woman because they know that you would pick that. And just like the white man that was the most popular in their validate game by ex sweet baby ink Danny LaLanders, who only hires one race of people to make their environment safer, their words, you have taught them that you must never be granted the choice because you won't pick what they want you to pick. And the choice was only meant to be an illusion. Well, oh no, Rocksteady blocked me. Did Rocksteady stop at writing all men insecure? They didn't just stop at gender swapping Mr. Freeze into a weightlifting lesbian caricature. They didn't stop at age swapping a previously femme fatale character into a child because that's not creepy for your mature game. They couldn't even stop at iconic DEI ultimate move flattening women. <laughs> because how dare they have any mounds or curves? That's not the new normal. Like you're seeing it is necessary for all woke games. <laughs> even volition in its shutdown ass. Sweet Baby Inc. and their racism helped Rocksteady race swap characters. And now we have a new one dropping that won't be defibrillating life into the corpse of a game that cost Warner Brothers $200 million. It's said that Disney wasted $230 million on the Acolyte. What was previously $200 million lost on the DEI Failure Concord is now believed to be closer to $400 million. And you entities think you're going to lecture people not only in what you're selling to them, claiming it's entertainment, but outside of it too? This is how your challenge standards experiment worked out. Your attempt to correct attitudes and instruct people to better serve your cult's bullshit failed. My name is showing up on lists of dog water guzzling actors that have been selected to be part of the woke squad in a new Tsushima game, and you're talking about it in the echo chamber of Reset Era? Isn't that where that dumb IGN bitch ran after her fake Wukong allegations? They were forced to run away into an echo chamber over to point to their activist friend who they say verbatim they hate white people a popular sentiment among the racists that people are going to keep defending 
no matter how weirdly Kotaku they get. Brother, we are eager for you to learn as many times as necessary, because now that people have clocked that you're incapable of reason, they know they don't have to do anything, they can just wait. Beta Tester, I don't care about people. I care about these experiences, and I want us to return to a time where narcissists are not so insecure that they're injecting their fad to date the nightmare million dollar properties that they're destroying, that they're making worthless, and it's their intention. Beta testers, I thank you again. Like this video so that this thanks can reach as many people as possible, because you are the instrument of change, and I thank you. In February, gamers managed more people playing the Arkham games than Sushi Squad. This is a message whether the industry chooses to ignore it or not. This is not the type of thing that the woke pussy journalists will ever bring up, but I'll make sure that I remember it, and I'll make sure to say it any time I'm in the midst of people that repeat the things that I say to an audience that's larger. I'm here because I clocked something wrong, and I don't need to convince any of you of my conviction. I don't need a set of toys to prove what I believe in or what I represent. And neither do you. Thank you for not buying garbage. Thank you for thinking for yourself. I encourage you to seek out as much information as possible from as many perspectives as possible to educate your decisions so you can apply that knowledge into wisdom. I hope your desire to learn and grow is nourished and it's not poisoned by people who make money off of dividing and trying to trick you into believing that everyone's the same. If you've been blocked, silenced, hidden, removed, blacklisted, harassed, had lies spread about you, or simply been told that you're wrong when you know better, thank you for exercising restraint. They don't know how to do that. This isn't about winning or losing for me. It's about reacquainting people with an outlet that they may need. To me, this is prohibition. You took the alcohol and you're still trying to charge for what, what this isn't anymore. In the past, I've highlighted this one Kotaku entity who is so proud to use their cult's terminology in public. And it's the exact same terminology you heard spilling out of a sweet baby entity's burn down the gaming industry speech. I gravitate towards people that tell the truth and end up getting a lot of pushback for it. Is my channel monetized? Have I ever, in 3,000 videos, hit you with a sponsor? I have bills to pay. I have a Dia who deserves more attention. I have a mother I wish I could spoil. I have a depleting lifespan and a clock ticking. That's sealing doors and windows of opportunity permanently, but I don't waste my time. I spend it here. Not trying to reach the world, not trying to reach anyone who will listen. I'm trying to reach the right person. And I believe you are among them. Among us. Sorry. I could sense someone may have needed to hear it. To the patrons and the sponsors, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. To those of you donating off stream, know it's getting reinvested right back into the channel. And I do, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. What more is there to say? Love yourself and don't let any cuck convince you your harmless style needs to change especially when it's coming from the kinds of people who you know they'll do anything for approval